what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There are multiple reports out of China that black people are being kicked out of their rental apartments and hotel rooms amidst Chinese officials' fear of the coronavirus. They are singling out black people. How did we get blamed for this? How? Like, it's like a international consensus that it originated in China. But somehow, they're blaming black people. They fear that black people somehow has the market cornered on the coronavirus, COVID-19. There's a video that substantiate what I'm saying. It's a video of an African, a black African man talking about how he's being detained in somewhere they have, they're trying to quarantine him. But they gave his wife the option of being quarantined, forced into quarantine where they want her to be at, or she can go anywhere she want to go because his wife is white. She can just get up and leave. But black guy, he has to stay. He has to stay put. He said that they're forcing them to be quarantined for 14 days. And he said, the worst part is we don't even have any symptoms. So this is strictly a color issue. It just makes me wonder where does black people get all of this compassion from, this empathy from, this civilization from, when there are people who just judge black people based on the color of their skin and black people often judge people by the content of character, especially non-blacks. You dig what I'm saying? All over Africa, Chinese people are welcome. They don't get singled out and thrown out of their apartments, their hotel rooms. They're welcomed with open arms, allowed to come into the country and set up shop. No cops going around harassing them for permits and beating them up strictly based on their skin color. They're not going through any of this type of stuff. I was thinking that what these people in China is going through, the black people in China is going through right now, is kind of uh, akin to what is happening in America every day with black people, except that black people get discriminated across the board in America, like in, in every regard. Now, they haven't started shooting black people over there yet. They haven't started beating them. You don't see reports. I'm sure that'll happen because China, you know, they're more upfront with how they get out. America like to get out and then play innocent. You know, that's how the law enforcement in America is trained. America is trained. They'll get off on you and then fall back and be like, hey, you know, they'll try to come up with excuses and say, well, this is my excuse. This is why I did it. I fear for my life. They'll just do what they do and that'll be the end of it. They don't offer explanations. But to just go around and single out black people, putting them out of their home. Look, they don't even have anywhere to go, fam. They have no, they're putting them out into the streets by the droves. They have nowhere to go. They can't even get out of the country because the airports are closed. This is the savagery that's been perpetrated on our people in China. And the Chinese government, they have, man, they don't give a damn. They don't care what 
the world thinks. Now, the thing is, though, is those African nations could band together and put pressure on China to treat their people with dignity. But they're so fractured. There's no unity. I don't see how it's going to happen. You don't need all of the nations, really. You just need some of the most powerful ones, especially the ones where Chinese people have set up shop. You know, the ones they've set up shop in, they're the ones who have the most power. You know, they could really band together and say, hey, man, y'all got to do something about this. Uh, y'all want to continue to do business in here. Y'all going to have to do something about this. Now, the sad thing about it is that in some of these countries, Chinese people have set it up to where they have more influence than the black government officials. Those officials in Africa who have allowed this to happen, they are sad, sad, sad. They need to be removed by any means. What a disgrace to your race to allow outsiders to come into your country and set up shop, take over, take over your government, Take over your business. Reconstruct societal norms to fit them. Make you adjust to them and their culture. For money? Man, it ain't that much money in the damn world to make me do something like that. I could never sell out my people. I don't know how they sleep. I'm going to bundle this one up. All you African officials who have sold out your people for money and all you Chinese officials who have took it upon yourself to force black people into the streets Make people who have a roof over their head homeless. Every single one of you low down riding bastards. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>